<clears throat> okay guys, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Z stream. Today I have another tutorial. Um, I've taught you guys how to make your own mods and test your own mods, but now today I'm going to tell teach you how to save your mods so that other people can use them. Um, if you've downloaded mods before, you'll notice that usually they're in .class files and then you're just supposed to replace certain files in your Minecraft game, I think. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to assume that you have your own mod uh, so that you want to export. Um, so, this is how you do it. You're going to go into your MCP folder and uh, you're going oh you also have to open terminal and what it's called is reobfuscating I think I think that's how it's pronounced and basically this um, this kind of like all the work we did to decompile and to rename the classes so that we could understand this reobfuscating just undoes it all and uh, fixes everything so it's all confusing and it fits back into the Minecraft game and people can download it. I think this is mainly for copyright reasons because if you give out the actual code that's uh, that's copyrighted to Notch and you're not allowed to do that um, but also because it makes it easier to install on other people's Minecrafts people who don't know how to mod like we do. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, here I'll open a new terminal we're gonna do that CD trick again. If you want, if you didn't see like the beginning of this tutorial, there should be a link around now. You can click on it and watch part one and two and all the parts and whatever. Um, because this won't make sense if you haven't seen the beginning. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in CD. You should know the drill by now. Drag in MCP. Press Enter. Now it's linked. And we're going to. What we have to do is we have to go into the conf conf folder and we're going to click on the client underscore obfuscation text I have a feeling I'm saying that weirdly but I don't know oh well doesn't really matter and anyway here you can basically delete everything that's in it um, and here you write which classes you changed so for example in my last tutorial I made a recipe I made a new recipe on how to make TNT out of dirt um, so the only class I changed was the crafting manager. So I'm going to type in crafting manager here and exit. I want to save. Uh, hold on a sec. I just want to check that it's actually called crafting manager with capital C and capital M. Let's go into sources, Minecraft, net, Minecraft again, SRC, um, crafting, crafting, crafting. Crafting manager Java. Yep, that's right. Okay. So now what we've done, what we're what we're going to do, you've written the classes that you've changed, and we are going to type in bash and drag in reobf.sh. R-E-O-B-F. Reobfuscation dot S H. And we're going to press enter and it'll say obfuscating clients. We'll wait a minute while it does that. Server not compiled, skipping, that's okay because we didn't make a server mod. And reobfuscation script finished. Now, if you go back into your MCP folder, if you go into final underscore out, and go into Minecraft, there should be a class here. Doesn't matter what the name is, the name is something random, it's usually two letters. Um, if you made a single player mod, it should show up here. If you made a server mod, it should show up here. As you can see, there's nothing here because I didn't make a server mod. Um, anyway, and here you have your class file, and this brand new class file is, you can upload it on the internet and uh, tell people how to install it. If you don't know how to install it, um, I'm sure there's other ways, but the way I install it is I copy it out of there first. Let's put it uh, into my modding folder. It's called ga.class. Actually, we're going to copy this. Copy copy ga.class and then we're going to go to home mine's called Henry IX Henry the ninth library application support we're going to go to minecraft I do not know what minecrafter is I'm kind of new to this too guys uh, I think minecrafter is like a mod loading thing so by doing this I kinda of feel like I'm doing something dumb but anyway this works and that's all that matters we're gonna go into minecraft we're gonna go into bin 
and then minecraft.jar this is where we want to put it but we want to put it inside this so the trick is we're going to rename this to minecraft.zip we're going to change the extension it's going to ask us this uh, arrogant error message that makes you rethink your decisions but we're going to push through now we're going to right click on this minecraft.zip uh, it was actually oh um, uh, it's probably actually a good idea to back up your minecraft.jar first so I'm going to do that I'm going to paste this minecraft.zip out oh crap not there put it here call it minecraft.jar change it back to jar use jar okay there I've backed it up just in case things go to hell okay now that we have this dot zip we can do right click open with archive utility and this will unzip it and give us this folder see this is what I mean it um, these are all the classes that we've been modifying if we didn't have MCP this is what all the classes would look like it's called I K I L I M and I N all these random letters we'd never know what all these classes meant um, but that's okay because that's not what we're here for uh, and here we're going to paste paste our item control V what did that just do GA dot class oh that's odd I was kind of expecting it to replace something Hmm, what if we select here and say paste item? Oh shit. Oh oops, 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 oops. I forgot that I just copied my oh my god, I thought I had GA class in my clipboard. Okay, did I just copy Minecraft.zip into here? Oh I think we're supposed to Yeah, 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 yeah. Um okay, oops, I copied that in. Okay, what we have to do open a new finder window, um, navigate to my modding folder here's my ga.class copy this control c command c i should say and we are going to paste into our new minecraft and here now it says do you want to replace if you edited any of the classes that were already in uh... minecraft which you i think you have to do there's no way to make a mod without editing the classes that are already written there um, it will say do you want to replace and you'll say yes replace so you've put your new class in, and we're going. To, what we're going to do? We can delete this Minecraft.zip now that we've unzipped it, and we're going to select this Minecraft folder. Oh no, we can't do that. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm. I. I hope the way I say things doesn't confuse you guys, because I don't know. Don't worry. I believe in your intelligence. I. I hope you get this. Okay. After you've copied your class in and replaced it here, what you have to do. You have to delete this meta-inf folder. Okay, so I'm going to press command delete and delete that. Then we're going to say command A and select all the files in here. Right click and we're going to say compress 584 items. I think it should be 584 unless you added classes yourself, which is quite possible if you uh, made your own objects or stuff or your own blocks and you would have added classes. Uh, so here, now it's named archive.zip, we'll rename it to minecraft.jar, uh, use .jar, and then we're going to drag it back into here, and we will trick Minecraft into thinking that that was the original minecraft.jar. We can delete this now. I should probably name this backup minecraft, and now... Now that we've installed our own mod, we can go and close all of this stuff and open up my Minecraft. My Minecraft is in the MCP folder. Yours is just wherever it is. doesn't really matter. Uh, Login. I think my internet died. That's okay. Airport on, airport off. Close this. Open this again. Hopefully this will work. Uh, log in. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Sometimes Minecraft will not load if you messed something up in it. Um, but this is a good sign. It's loaded. I'll do full screen for you guys. This is a cinematic moment. 
and we're gonna test my recipe. I'm gonna get some dirt. That's enough. Oh, great, there's no trees here. I need a crafting table. Mmm, okay, let's find a tree. Okay, uh, now that we're done fast forwarding, I'm going to open up my inventory, inventory, uh, really confused about what accents I should be using right now. I'm just socially confused. Okay, put down my crafting table. Let's test this. This is the moment of truth. Ta-da! And there we go. I've installed my own mod. As you can see, that was not a normal recipe. I added that myself. I put a bunch of TNT and... No, I mean, I put a bunch of dirt, and I made TNT. Ooh, is that a cave down there? That's pretty... Oh, shit! Oh, my God. I jumped so much in this game. Anyway, I hope that taught you a lot. That's how you install your own mods. And, uh, yeah. If, um, subscribe if you like our my tutorials. My name is Henry, by the way. I keep forgetting to tell you guys at the beginning of the video. I know I sound a lot like Jeffrey, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but yeah. I'm Henry, and this is a Z-Stream tutorial. Subscribe if you like our tutorials, because I will be posting more on how to make NPCs and such. And yeah, I hope you found this useful. See ya, guys.